Sims is super sharp to be in that situation, to be, he's still staying like, that's part of his, that's part of his aura. That's part of his thing. It's like, he still stays as clean as possible. That's, you know, some people need that as part of their, like, oomph. And, and that's who Sims is. Like me, Rashid, Common, I, I could be a little more rugged at times, you know, but Sims is sharp. Um, Sims is really going through um, some, some, some moments where he's being broken down in a way, like broken down in, by, in the way that he's being challenged by the things that he already believes, but also he, he is really trying to get to a position where he could be, do more in the silo as Bernard Shadow, and he's getting resistance for that, and he really believes he can do the, he has the mindset and the experience and the intuition to help save the silo and keep order in the silo, but Bernard is not, is not um, agreeing in that, in that way, and, his, and Camille Sims' wife, Camille Sims, is his, is his that's his, like, he bounces a lot of things off her. He, he listens to her. She's a, she's a powerful and very intelligent person and woman. So, and everywhere he's going, he's getting that resistance, but he has that partner. So you find these different aspects and dimensions of Sims now, um, seeing him with his wife and his son, and it's beautiful. It's, 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 I love, because everybody knew Sims as, they felt like, yo, this is the enforcer. This is, but it's more to him than that. He's a, he's a human being. And I felt really great when friends I knew who first would be like, man, we hate Sims, man. It's Sims, man. Why are you doing that? Why is Sims, why are you doing that? You know, people take it as you doing that. Why are you doing that? But then they was like, man, I'm starting to feel for Sims as the season went along. So now you get to know him even more. Potential rebellion. It's a potential of a rebellion. And that's what's cooking up. And that's what Sims is... If, if a rebellion happens, everybody may die. We have never experienced a rebellion during our lifetime, but what we know of rebellions, have, that's when silos have gotten wiped out. So that's, that's basically like a nuclear bomb for, for what we know. Like, it's like a, a bomb that could destroy the world, a rebellion would, would, could be that to us. Um, and we just don't want it to happen, so we're figuring out ways, myself and Bernard. But it's something when, you know, your so Bernard is, is a superior to as far as position and ranking in the silo. But when you're a superior and somebody you've been dedicated to and committed to and shown your, your worth is not valuing you um, and kind of pushes you to the side and and, and puts put you in a position where you can't really do as much. It's, it's stunting, it, it messes not only with the work you could do, but even your own like belief in yourself. And Sims is experiencing some of that. So you get to see some of the, um, the doubts in Sims and, and the struggles, which I love. What if Sims just got on the piano? Y'all would be like, yo, what is this dude doing? But, he, but I think he would be a good pianist though. You know, like I think he could be like Herbie Hancock or, you know, one of those one of those greats like um, D'Angelo, Robert Glass, but those guys. Uh.